But I think uh, at its core, at least for me, it's a, a play about uh, family, friendship, manhood, masculinity, manhood, masculinity and love, and all the complexities uh, of all of that and how they intersect and, and you know make life interesting. It's so rare that you get a chance to work with five other black men on stage. Mm -hmm. Like it just doesn't really happen. Yeah. And the stories when they do happen, it's like they're dealing with a lot of issues that affect um, black and brown communities in a way that means that the play is emotionally taxing. Mm -hmm. Whereas- All the trauma. Yeah, a lot of trauma. And I feel like this play still deals with the things that uh, affect black and brown communities. Mm -hmm. But it exists in a place of joy. And especially my character is like an embodiment of black boy joy. It's just, um, it feels really good to exist in that space for mm -hmm. a long time and with other black men that I can share that with. Uh, I liken it to a cookout you know, a family cookout. My brothers and sisters know that we usually refer, when we're referring to our like white friends, if you're cool enough, you get invited to the cookout. But luckily, Katori has given us a play to where she's inviting all audiences to the cookout. It's like one big invite to the yeah, cookout. Yeah, one big to everyone. And you get to see the, the different temperaments, I think, of, uh, you know, black men, you know, on stage. I feel like it's been a great opportunity to find brotherhood and, and to build a family and a connection and, and around, centered around a story that I know I haven't seen on stage before. It, it may be revolutionary for a lot of people, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, and I think that it is for it being on the stage and, and on, in this medium, you know, and any and everywhere that it goes. Uh, but I also want people to know that this is really normal. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. don't have to push to be seen. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fight. Like, people get you, you know? Whether it's through basketball, playing it, or watching it, or cooking chicken wings. <laughs> you know, that's what the Hot Wing King is all about. Yeah. Your royalty, bruh. Yes. This unit, this family drama, like, I really feel like you could interject women, men. It's a universal story. It just happens to be six black men telling this family story about want, need, survival, joy, love, cooking, food, all of that stuff. It's, it's about love and everyone can get down with that.